Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. So today, Bill, you know, we do videos all the time, every year. Actually, I just put one up, pros and cons, basically, of living in Florida. Right. And I think 10,000 other people are doing pros and cons <laughs> of living in Florida. Right. You know? So we decided to do something different, and we found an article that we could talk about. All right? So it was a really, really cool article. This article is about 15 types of people who should absolutely move to Florida. So if you might be one of these people and you need to move to Florida. Wait till the last one too, because they're, they're all really, really good reasons. I'm trying not to skip ahead. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to, but I might take a sneak peek here. But they're, but they're all really good reasons why you should move to Florida if you're this type of person. All right, I can't in the wait. <laughs> in the meantime, do me a favor, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and it really, really is greatly appreciated. Go All right. The Sunshine State has a lot to offer anyone who falls into one of these categories. Are you dreaming of a place where the sun shines all year round on sugar sand beaches? <laughs> Do you see a land full of cultural and culinary delights? Welcome to Florida, where every day feels like a vacation. Listen, I believe that's the state's slogan. <laughs> we, we, we're in Clearwater Beach right now, and Bill, what he does is he rents out a top floor condo, and he has ocean views on the front and, and the, the back. back. Yep. Okay? So, if you're a beach lover, you can't get any more beach than this. It's all white, sandy beach and beautiful tropical waters. You know, you should definitely check out Clearwater Beach. But, let's try, start with the first one, beach lovers. The 825 miles of beaches are compelling reason for Florida to even call the state home. Some people are beach lovers. I'm personally not a beach lover. Mm -hmm. I'm a boat lover. So let me rephrase that. I love being on my boat. I love hitting a sandbar. Right, okay? so you get the best of both worlds. So I get the best of both worlds. But sometimes the sandbar is a little bit underwater by a foot or two. It's but okay. it's still white sand. But yep. I put my boat there, I put the power poles down, get out. Hang float. out. I love that. And the water's super clean because it gets flushed all the time. Yep. And there's not a lot of people there during the week because you really only get there by boat and you really know how, have to know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Whether you fancy a stroll along the boardwalk, a game of beach volleyball, or just a great place to jump into the waves, you will have plenty of options for beach entertainment. You agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I grew up on the beach, so I mean, that's pretty easy for me to, you know, I love the beach, obviously. I even went to school on the beach, technically. Really? Yeah, my school's right down the street over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Just yeah, yeah. on the other side, of, there's a one lane here, it's called Gulf Boulevard, and there's one row of houses on one side and one row of houses and condos on the other, yep. and my school was right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the East Coast versus West Coast, because they both have beautiful, beautiful beaches. Yep. Okay, I just Different environments mention, and atmospheres. Right. East Coast, the water's a lot rougher, and it gets deep a lot faster as you go out. Yes, so you're on the Atlantic side, so right. you, we have a shelf and it just poop, falls right off. So that's, you know, you got waves, surf, fishing, everything, the water's cooler. And it's more of a party atmosphere if you're down southern, you know, the beaches. Yeah, Portland, far north right? and far south, you've got it right in the middle, you kind of have a mediocre environment, but the environment is a little bit more laid back. You know, depending on, like, if you're going to Deerfield Beach or something along those lines, things are more, you know, residential and laid back over there. Right. So, on the West west Coast, where we are, Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. Okay. It really doesn't get that deep. Like, pretty much what people say is, for every mile you go out, it's a foot deep. It's a little deeper than that. Right. But, but basically... For the most part. You know, I'm out 16, 17 miles offshore and I'm in 20 feet of water. Yeah, we've had people out on our boats before and you know, we're three, four miles offshore and people are like scared because they think they're gonna drown and die and what if we sink? And so I just go, well, if we sink, I'm a little more dramatic and it's fun and I have the anchor down, but I just jump out of the boat and then the water goes to my waist and everybody kind of goes, oh. <laughs> yeah, when I'm, when I'm out far, then I'm, I have a tower boat. I'm like, just, just climb the tower, you're good. Yeah, Okay. It's, it's more fun that way, so. What's the next one? Well, sun worshipers, of course. So, what do they say about well, sunshine? We, we're called the Sunshine State because I think we've got, uh, what, 230, 250 some odd days a year that is just pure sunshine. Well, I want to talk about that real quick, too. So, the past three, four years, okay, mm -hmm. it used to be in the spring, summer that we could time our watches at three o'clock, we're going to have a, a shower, a storm, yeah, absolutely. In, and it's going to rain sideways. Yep. 
past three, four years, that hasn't happened. I think it's been a little longer than that, just living here so long, but it gets worse. It feels like it gets worse every year um, that we're not getting, we're not that, that you know, like a clockwork kind of rain. Right. Pattern. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we're going months without rain here. Yeah, yeah we're, we're just coming off of a drought now. You know, believe it or not, we're supposed to be at 100% rain today and it's sunny. But we did. We had rain all morning and all night, and then it stopped for a little while. And then today now we will get a pattern because you can start to see the clouds building. We'll start getting a rain pattern this afternoon, and it'll probably rain all night again. So basically, sun worshippers, you know, if you're into sitting in the sun, not that it's healthy. <laughs> hey, know? whatever. But there's a lot of dermatologists around here that can help you. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, wear sunscreen. It gets pretty bad here. But here's here's one that I know a lot of people that do move here because of this reason. Oh, yeah. Of Disney. Course. You're a Disney fan. Yeah. If you love Disney. I know some fanatics. Mm-hmm. They're like, they just want to move near Disney so they can drive. So we're in Tampa. It'll take us about an hour and a half to get to Disney. Yep. It's not that bad of a drive, really. I, you know, I've got season passes and, you know, we go, we'll just, it's an easy enough drive to where we'll go during the day. We'll just and turn around and come back home. Yeah, um, we we'll do that too. Yeah, it's it's not bad. And, you know, the one thing is, I'll read what they says about it, but Florida residents sometimes get a discount on park tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you need it because those tickets are expensive. Holy smokes. Yeah, they get really expensive. So, you know, Disney fans are a huge fan of Mickey Mouse. When you move to Florida, visiting Disney World will be much less of a production. It's true. No planes. If you live nearby, you can stay at home. Yeah. You won't have to book a flight or, or might not even have to stay in a hotel. I just said that. You will be able to take advantage of some, some great deals for Florida residents who just pay $59 per day plus tax and admission. I don't know if that's true. Um, that's uh, what the article said, $59 uh, per I've day. never seen it. All right, so I buy tickets all the time to go to Disney before I broke down and bought season passes. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Disney World at $59 a day, even in the most off part of the season. Um, so, but who knows, maybe they've got some special. I'm a Florida resident. But here's a little insider information for you, a little Florida trick, if you will, that's not in this article. You can drive from Miami to Disney so you don't have to take a flight, mm -hmm. all right? All right. Easy drive, it's not the end of the world. That way you don't, it's just more convenient because you live in Florida. Disney's in the center of the state. Yeah, drive up 95, cut across. Yep, and you're good to go. Hit, you know, uh, Canaveral, yeah. and then right across, and you're in Disney in about 45 minutes from there. Or the new train now goes from Orlando to Miami. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Florida Insider, yes. They have a new Sorry, train. I'm not a Florida insider, I guess. You're not a Florida insider, bud. <laughs> so you say from they have a train from Orlando to Miami? Yes. Yep. They have the, the the Florida railway that goes from Orlando to Miami now. Too bad they don't have one from Tampa to Miami. It's in the works. That that would be awesome. It's going to be in the works. So they're trying to connect all the major cities with the uh, railway. Um, so maybe let me know if you want me to jump on that and do a video. Oh yeah. I'll drive to Orlando just so I can go to Miami for the day and I'll take the train back. You know, that'd be an awesome video and I'll, I'll join you on that video. <laughs> Any excuse to get out of here. So the next one is... Reti Retirees. Eh, okay. Let's talk about that one. Eh. You can read what they said first. All right, so if you plan to retire in Florida, you'll be in good company. More than 8.6 million people aged 50 and older live in Florida. Uh, placing it behind only California in terms of the number of residents in that age group. Okay, if you're talking, I know where you're gonna go. All if right, you're go talking ahead. like it's the number one place to retire, it's probably not. But when you're looking at retirement communities, we do pretty much top the cake. Yeah, because we have the villages, right. which is like freaking cities in themselves. Right, we got the villages, we got Esplanade, we got a whole bunch of different one, uh, mm -hmm. different, uh, senior living communities and they're fun they're inclusive they're resort like they're just they're just good fun places to live and they're all over the place in florida so maybe that is it maybe it's not the number one destination anymore for where people are flocking to but when it comes to amenities and things like that and just year-round outdoor activity because of our temperate climate that might be a good place to live yeah but you know Again, because of the cost, it may not be a good place. Just depends on where you're at. Yeah, it's true. You know, a lot of people moving. You know, people people are leaving Florida to retire 
they're leaving Florida to retire in Tennessee or right. Arizona or something like that. Right, and I, you know, in my previous career, a lot of guys did that. Mm -hmm. Even back in the 90s when I started, you know, working at the fire department, the guys were leaving to go to Georgia and Tennessee. And these are Florida natives that lived here and worked here, but they didn't retire here. It's like they've been here their whole life. They wanted to go somewhere else. It was a little different mm -hmm. to retire. Now, I know they bounce back and forth between the two states, but, you know, there's something to be said about that. You're retired. You can. Mm -hmm. Okay. People who want to lower their taxes. Florida does not have a state income tax. That's true. That also includes retirement income, such as money, pensions, or 401k. The lack of income tax is another reason why Florida is such a popular state. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put my two cents into this one. I agree we don't have an income tax. I don't know about the other stuff, but I'm sure they did their research. But we have a lot of high costs of homeowners insurance and property tax. Yep. So if you're leaving a state because there's an income tax just to come here to save, you know, five, six thousand dollars, you know, on income tax. Do all your math first. Do all your math first because you're going to spend that plus on just insurance, homeowner's insurance, car insurance, yeah, and property taxes. Man, there's always leaf blowers. And if you need a job, <laughs> apparently the best job to have is a leaf blower. Is the leaf blower guy on a landscape crew because they this just, guy has walked back and forth on this sidewalk for the last 30 minutes blowing the sidewalk. That's it. And he just hits the button every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, he just hits the button. I think they dropped him off and said, don't stop working until we pick you up or something. I don't know. But uh, hey, more power to him because it's hot out there. And that is hard work. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Jet setters. That's an interesting little. <laughs> that, that's a good reason that you yeah. should move to Florida. I know why they're going to go with it. Yeah. read it. As home to a number of international airports and seven cruise ports, Florida is a great place to live if you love to travel. And that is true. The state is also close to the Bahamas and the Caribbean islands. It's true. Me and my wife are going cruises all the time, and we love going to the Bahamas. Things changed a little bit now, so we're not going as much, but it's cheap. We just drive to Cape Canaveral, you know? Yep. We jump on the cruise ship, go to the Bahamas. Sometimes we'll just go for three, right. four days. Because we have the cruise port in Tampa as yeah, well. We have, yeah, we have Tampa. And then we have Fort, uh, Fort Myers, and then we have Miami and then we have Canaveral. And think about it, everybody from around the country, Washington State, FAR, Canada, yep. you know, if they, they fly here and then they book a hotel, then they get to the cruise line, then, you know, if you live in Florida and you're, you're into cruising and all that stuff. I take an Uber over to the cruise port and I jump on the boat and I'm out. And here's, here's something cool. I don't know if they still do this. They used to do it years ago. Right before the cruise leaves port in Tampa, we used to go there and say, hey, do you have any openings? And sometimes they pretty much give it to you for like a hundred bucks. Right, to fill the, because you're going to, the majority of the money you're spending and making is going to be in like the food, drink, and, you know, gambling and stuff. Right. Now, I had a friend that used to do that, and I don't know if they still do it, but he used to do that religiously. He had like a little go bag, and if he had a couple, you know, a six day stand of vacation time, he'd go and just stand there and be like, hey, you got anything open right now? And literally he would just go. And if he didn't, he drove home 10, 15 minutes. It was no big deal. Um, that's a curious one. I'm, I have to check that out. I'm... I know. I got to check it out too and everything. All right. Golfers. I don't have to even read this. Um, we have more golf courses, but again, this is Florida. 1,100 golf courses yeah. according to this. Yeah. It's, there's probably, I would even think there's probably more. There's golf courses everywhere here. But again, it goes back to our temperate climate year round. You know, maybe not when you're in August, it's super hot. That's the cheapest time to get, go play golf. Mm -hmm. I know that, but like. Here's an interesting fact. This is what somebody told me. I don't know if this is true. If you guys think it's true or you know it's true, let me know. At, outside every big airport, there's a golf course outside the runways. And they, they, they said that because if there's an emergency landing or takeoff that has to be aborted and they don't have enough runway, they have a golf course to land in. Well, but the planes land in different, you're a pilot, they land yeah, in different you directions. Could, you, you, could turn, you could turn the plane, you know, like towards the golf course. All right, so if you're playing over by TIA, there's, there's, a, there's a golf course right there. Right off of 60, there's a golf course. Oh, no, that's St. Pete Clearwater, but Tampa International. Tampa International, when you take off on the runway, there's a golf course on the left-hand side. Huh, never paid attention. Yeah, just just think about that one. Let me yeah, know. Yeah, let me go check me, that out. Yeah, let me know if that's true. 
Okay, seafood lovers. Mm. Florida is in the top 12 U.S. states for seafood production. A whopping 84% of the wow. country's group are pompano, pink shrimp, mullet, stone crab, spiny lobster, and Spanish mackerel are caught in Florida waters. Pass the shrimp taco. I agree with the shrimp because the <laughs> shrimp boats rip up the ground. It's insane. And it's like grass floating everywhere. Like literally my engine will get yeah it gets clogged gets clogged yeah we have and to raise it heats and have to raise it because the shrimp boats are out there because i'm in the hudson yeah and there's tons of shrimp boats there. right and they drag the the grass beds to collect the shrimp and there's plenty and i could i could mullet there's tons of mullet mullet are everywhere you can't eat really eat them but yeah they may well they smoke them and make dip yeah pompano there's plenty of grouper too you know but they actually shorten grouper season but yeah if you're if you're into seafood this is the place Go for it. Uh, students that are attending college. We've got 171 colleges here in Florida, according to the article. Um, a lot of those schools are actually under $10,000 a year because they're more of a junior college or some sort of a secondary type school, not maybe, you know, University of Florida, Florida State type college where there are these big giant and in, in, you know institutions that are significantly more money per year but there are a lot of smaller college to get your first and second year of college knocked out before you transfer to maybe a larger university oh that's interesting so there's definitely some uh some room there and then it goes on to talk about nature lovers yeah nature lovers definitely from the everglades to the florida reef to lakes, Florida's all natural wonders of explorers. The state also has alligators, manatees, panthers, flamingos, plenty of other wildlife you can observe in state, many preserved state parks, even in my backyard. I have, yeah. bo I have bobcats, I have yep. alligators, I have these freaking crazy big birds, you know. Right. Now don't think that these alligators are gonna jump up and no, you know, no, eat no. you, because I get that question all the time too. They're it's not, just... they're not. You know, if you, if, if you live near a pond and then you're feeding them every day, of course, they're gonna associate you for, you know, with, with food. food. So don't do Don't feed them. You're not supposed to feed the alligators. You're not supposed to feed wildlife, period. Don't make it easy for them. They, yeah. they know how to get uh, food. And when you're at the beach, don't feed the seagulls. No, because please don't feed the seagulls. When somebody's <laughs> eating, but yeah. here's another reason why you should move to Florida. <laughs> if you are a sports, sports fan. fan, jinx. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, you want me to talk about sports? <laughs> All right, we've got sports galore here. We've got, I think, pretty. We got Major League Baseball. We've got hockey. We have soccer. Um, we've got spring training games. You name it, we've got sports. Mm-hmm. Football, we've got football, we can't not say football, we got the Bucks. So I think we have, I do believe we have one of every major sports team here in the Tampa Bay area that calls Tampa Bay home. Okay, those who love diversity, basically we, we hear, you know, when you're walking down the street, we have Greek community, we have, over here it says Florida, just a few hours away from multiple Latin American Caribbean countries, mm -hmm. which helps make the state a melting pot for different people of different cultures. Right. It's true, and believe it or not, it's freaking, it's nice. It's it's really nice. You know, we have a Greek community, we have an Italian area. Not that, you know, people live together, but I'm talking about you can find any kind of food. Right. Clubs, associations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, there's if you want Latin food, you can pretty much, whether it's Colombian versus maybe Peruvian, something along those lines, you can find a place. You know, there, it's just, and they're two different kinds of foods, believe it or not. Um, you know, and if you want Greek food, tons of Greek food. There's Italian food. We've got some fantastic Italian restaurants around and, here. Yeah, and we're actually Authentic. talking about we're actually talking about another one that was after oh, those foodies. foodies. You know, so <laughs> Cuban sandwiches, food trucks. Like I know a food truck right down by my house. It's probably some of the best sandwiches. Right down the street from my house, which is crazy dangerous, <laughs> is a Cuban restaurant, and it is the number one. He's won the award at least five times for the best Cuban in the state. I gotta go try it. It's unreal. I'll do a video there. Let me know if you want me to show you where it's at and tell you what it is. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a video there. Super great family owned restaurant. And I'll, I'll link Bill's channel to, uh, to the bottom so you guys could um, go to it. And I'll let you guys know when they, he uploads it. Music lovers, plenty of concerts here. Yep. 
country rock bands will still yeah that we have the hard rock you know yep in, in fort lauderdale in hollywood we have one in tampa orlando if you're a music lover it's huge here's here's the biggest one if you should move to florida if you're this person small business owner and this one i could vouch for okay this is the one i was telling everybody to wait for florida is the one of the top states in the states for entrepreneurship in fact 99.8 percent of florida businesses are small businesses it's easy in my opinion it's easy to start a business in florida yeah the, the state regulators are easy to communicate with they respond we have to have a special license to do home inspections yep. including bill as a realtor you know and they call it ddpr we could get in touch with them we can call them yeah and I know some states that's a nightmare to start a small business, but Florida, if you're an entrepreneur, you know, I know that this state and I know the other state that I was in, Wyoming, or in New Hampshire, you know, those states were really friendly to businesses. So that's, that's the big one. Yeah. And, you know, if you're starting a business or you have a business, it's, it's nice that the state itself supports you. Mm -hmm. You know, it, not only with the, D, uh, you know, DBPR, but... It's just nice to have state support. You know, there's some um, state programs to help you get guidance to start. You know, there's yeah. a small business association um, that helps you get going with small loans and things like that so that you can get your, your business off the ground. And then some of the local communities, it's becoming more trendy now. Cause you know, you see the food trucks, like you mentioned, yeah. those are small businesses. Um, I've got the barbecue place that's in a food truck down the street from my house and an actual business there sublets a little piece of their land out to him so he can have his truck on the weekends because they're closed. So I, I just see that that's a pretty neat, I think that's a neat thing. Um, and then we actually out in Wesley Chapel just built a small business um, mall park area um, called Crate. And it's only small businesses. That's awesome. Period. Only mom and pop businesses. So this is the 15 types of people who should absolutely move to Florida. It was a great article. I appreciate the people that who wrote this. Yep, this is a good article. It's a good article. Do me a favor, comment below. Tell us what you guys think. If we missed anything off of this article, and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. Check out this next video. You'll like this one. Check it out. Talk to you soon. Thanks. See you on the next one.